It's come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. God doesn't want to give you money. He doesn't want to give you healing. He doesn't want to give you job. He wants to give you the word of God in your spirit. Hallelujah. Every day in different nations of the world, the messenger angel is changing lives one person at a time. This month of May, it's a unique one on your favorite daily devotional program, the Kingdom of Tonga. And welcome to the beautiful Kingdom of Tonga and the America Samoa. From the beautiful island of American Samoa. Both in the South Pacific, share in the rich heritage of God's Word contained in Rhapsody of Realities. The life that is always overcoming. That is always conquering. That's the life that we're talking about. If you can't get it with your money, faith can get it for you. Join us in this exciting journey on the world throughout the month of May. The word is reality. That's your life. Feed on the word. Feed on the word. Because you will grow thereby. It's our year with the word of God. Enjoy it. Salofa. And welcome to all our viewers from all around the world to another great yet exciting time with the Word of God that is contained in our Rhapsody of Reality. Yes. Yes. Now today is a very special day because we are still reaching you all the way from the beautiful island of American Samoa. As you can see behind us, these are what we call Fale Samoa or huts. Its roof is made out of coconut leaves and poles, and then on the floor is basically just rock alone. These are the homes of our native or the islanders in the olden days. And even more so, we have a special for you today. We are going to sing a song in our native language. Yes. Praise the Lord. This song is called, The Wise Man Built His House Upon the Rock. Pastor, would you like to join yes, me? Yes, please, yes. Hallelujah. Tamalo potor faul fale lungo le papa. Tamalo potor faul fale lungo le papa. Tamalo potor faul fale lungo le papa. Ona to mai le o wa nga. To mai wanga ua sau foi le tape. To mai wanga ua sau foi le tape. To my wanga ua sau foi le tau Ai lo o tu pe alona fale Praise God, praise God Today is Monday, May the 14th Pastor Chris is sharing with us Build wisely We just sang that song Build wisely in our native language Amen It's one thing you built But it's another thing that you built wisely on Lord. a solid foundation. On a solid foundation. You know, Pastor, this involves planning. It involves yes. determination. You know, it involves knowledge. And what better way to build wisely than to build with the Word of God. Yes, Hallelujah. amen. Praise God. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more of your Rhapsody of Reality after this short break. God, God bless. bless. 
from two beautiful islands in the South Pacific, the Kingdom of Tonga and the America Samoa. Join us in the month of May as we experience the transformation that comes only by God's Word. It's fresh and unique. You can't afford to miss a single episode. Only on your favorite daily devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. There's nothing stopping you from staying connected to the Word on the go. The new Rhapsody of Realities Reader mobile application is now here. It's new, exciting, and inspiring. Available on iPad, iPhone, BlackBerry, and Android mobile devices. Its exciting features include the following. Read Rhapsody of Realities offline anytime, anywhere after your first download. Your complete study tool with the King James Bible embedded within the app. Write down notes and bookmark of your favorite articles for easy reference. Watch the Rhapsody TV on demand 24-7. Send in your prayer requests and share your testimonies with us right on the app. Get real-time updates with the ministry and Rhapsody of Realities. Get access to several pages on our website without leaving the app and so much more. It's so easy to use. It's available for free on the iTunes Store, the Android Market, and the BlackBerry App World. Log on today and stay connected to your favorite daily devotional with ease in the most fashionable way. It's our year with the Word of God. Enjoy it. Welcome back, viewers, to the continuation of today's message. Pastor Chris, again, is sharing with us, build wisely, amen. And our opening scripture, we will be taking it from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 47 and verse 48. It says, Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my saying, and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Wow, wow, wow. wow. A person that built wisely is a person that hears the word of God Amen. and do it and do it and do it we are just not hearers we are doers of the word amen Hallelujah. praise god and you know the word of god is the solution you know we don't need you know the the tools the the, the tools of this world to try and build our spiritual lives yes. because now we know that the word of god is that tool to build and you know we must build on a solid foundation, foundation yes and the solid foundation that we have is none other than Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. You know, the Lord Jesus in the verse above talked about the wise builder. He's talking about the wise builder. Amen. The one who hears the word and puts it to work. There you go, Pastor. Yes. Who hears the word and, and put puts it, it to, to work. work. This is a definite article. A wise builder is the man who hears the word and puts it to work don't just sit with it hmm. don't just meditate on it but when you hear the word put the word to, to work. work hallelujah whereas he likened the one who hears the word but doesn't act on it amen amen to a man who builds his house on the sand such a building is without a foundation and when the storm of life beat against it it comes to ruin this is very sad it says it comes to ruin if you do not have a solid foundation yes. hallelujah Praise if God. you are building without a foundation yes. must you, be solid it must be solid you cannot be living a steady life 
if you don't have a solid foundation. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, which is the word of God. The word of God. Hallelujah. If you have faith on people, but not the word of God, you are building on the sand, mm -hmm. not the rock. Amen, Pastor. You know, Pastor is um, it, it, Pastor is sharing with us, you know, the story of these two men. These two men's stories are written in the Bible. And Pastor Chris, he's always saying that the stories that are written in the Bible are for our learning. Yes. And we have learned today of these two men, one that built on the sand and one that built on the solid foundation, which is the rock. Yes. Amen. When the storms of life came in, beating against it, the man that built upon the sand, his house did not stand it's too not long. Steady. It's it not did steady. not. Oh, wow. But the man that built on oh. the rock, oh my goodness. It didn't move. It was a sure foundation. That was wow. his insurance. And his insurance was the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God's word is the material given to us to build our lives. Therefore, it matters that your life is built on a solid foundation of the word of God. Amen. And not on religious assumption and, and theories, theories of, of men. men. You know, religious, it limited us. Yes, it, it is. It limited us. Hallelujah. Wow. You must take heed to build your life according to the prescription of the, the word. word. Hallelujah. Wow. So the prescription that we need yes. to build wisely is the word it's of the God. the word of God. Wow. Are you hearing this today? Wow. That means that the word of God can give the correct and the right prescription for your life. It can give you the right mindset. It can give you the, you know, the earth shaking ideas yes. in which to build on a solid foundation yes. in which to build a steadfast home. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, glory be unto God. It says it matter what your life is built on. It matters. It matters. It matters to God, you know, because he wants to prosper us in a way that our lives will be very evident to the world and that the word is at work in our lives. So that's what the word of God says that it matters to him. You cannot afford you cannot afford to foolishly build your life on you know theories of men the theories of men things that will not last yeah. things that will fade away yes things that are only by the doctrines of men and by experiences of men we have to base our solid foundation on, on the, the word, word of god. god hallelujah praise god it's like the admonition the lord gave moses in the old testament which is reiterated for us in hebrews 8 Verse five, it says, who serves unto the example of the shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou maketh all things according to the pattern shown to thee in, in the, the mount. mount. Amen. Amen. Not only that the word of God is our solid foundation, but it also gives us, you know, a pattern in how to build our, the word of God is the blueprint for, for building wisely. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes people try to get ideas from here and there. Yes. They try to get, you know, the architects of this world to build their lives and to build wisely. Yes. But we learned today from Rhapsody of Reality that only the word of God can do that for us. Amen, Pastor? Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise right God. Right now, we're going to take a short break, but we want you to stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of God's Word in Rhapsody of Reality today. God bless.